Okay, I wanted to post this video uh, right quick. Um, it should be very informative. And I'm going to start with this news clip. And then I'm going to finalize with um, a little bit of commentary. Fox 19 now investigates a disturbing duo, Facebook and sex offenders. It's a story every parent needs to see. Yeah, we uncovered records of sex offenders getting around a band and being active on Facebook, including one right here in Ohio. Stefano D.P. Trentonio, dig a little bit deeper, looking at predators who are lurking behind that keyboard. And how you can spot a dangerous criminal before they get to your child. Rob, Tricia, here's the big problem with using Facebook or any kind of social media and tracking registered sex offenders. In the time it would take authorities to get one social media account closed, those offenders will already have opened three more. One and a half billion users on Facebook every day, but among those profiles are people who are not allowed to be on the platform, according to Facebook. People like 57-year-old Robert Gale Voda, a convicted sex offender here in Ohio and two other states. Part of his probation was that he was not supposed to be on social media of any kind whatsoever. And yet there he was using Facebook to engage in sexually explicit conversations with minors. Thankfully, his probation officer just checked and she found a Facebook profile for him with his photo and could tell that he was actively um, liking posts. Voda admitted to sending explicit photographs through Facebook. He just pleaded no contest to electronic solicitation of a minor and is now serving 20 years in a Virginia prison. Police say Voda is far from the only predator using social media. Facebook has a specific policy that bans convicted sex offenders. But in less than two hours, our investigation easily tracked down 16 different registered sex offenders with what appeared to be active Facebook profiles. There's no law against them using social media, right? Not at all. Unless they're on parole or probation. However, once they're off parole and probation, they're fair game. They can do whatever they please. They are required to register their um, Facebook email accounts and so forth. We reported our findings to Facebook. It immediately launched an investigation and disabled the accounts. Investigators now urge parents to have age-appropriate, non-judgmental conversations with their kids immediately. Hey, look, this is something that could happen, and if it does, just stop what you're doing, come to me, talk to me, we'll work it out together, you're not in trouble. Now, we've had one um, offender who was um, taking photos off of a female's Facebook page of her children, would post them onto his Facebook page, but nobody could do anything because it's not illegal. It's when you put your picture out there, anybody can copy it. What you need to keep in mind, parents, experts say steps you can do right now to make sure predators do not target your kids. Now first, you want to never let them have their phones in their bedrooms at night, if that's possible. And only let your children use their tablets or their laptops in a room where you can monitor what they're doing. But you got to do your research. There are so many different apps out there, including one. There's several like this. They look like a calculator, but they really hide photos. Mm -hmm. So parents, you really got to do your homework. And I trust you said your kids don't have Facebook. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow night, the reasons behind Cincinnati. Would you believe here in the Queen City, we have a staggering amount of sex offenders compared to the rest of the state? but there's a reason why so many of them end up right here. Mm, I can't wait. It's more intense. You know, it's yeah. really tough. The, the advice when you say, you know, monitor your kids and make sure they're in your room, that's really tough. Good luck with working parents and kids who are involved as your kids are in yeah. all kinds of sports activities. Yeah, wait just, for them to go to bed and then grab it. You can't be a helicopter all the time. I know. Yeah, sure. Try it out. <laughs> Step good story. Thanks, Thank you. guys. All right. Okay. Um, that was pretty eye-opening. And I just encourage the parents to be more diligent, you know, uh, monitor your kids behavior on social media. Um, I would also suggest what they said, you know, don't let them use it unattended, uh, use it in public areas. Don't allow certain applications to be installed. Uh, also, 
Don't allow them, you know, to have the phones alone in their bedrooms because you never know what they're doing. So parents need to be uh, aware and very, very diligent about these things. Um, and I also found it uh, interesting here. It says here uh, how, now this is for Instagram. A lot of people may not know, but Instagram has a, a, um, a new terms of service where they are not allowing uh, convicted uh, sex offenders on Instagram. And apparently uh, there is a way to report them. And according to this, it says convicted sex offenders aren't, and I repeat, are not allowed to use Instagram. If you've seen an account that may belong to a convicted sex offender, please report it to us. And according to this, it says, please provide one of the following with your report. A link to a listing in a national sex offender registry. A link to an online news article. A link to a court document. Okay, so either of those three. If you aren't able to include this with your report, we recommend that you ask a local law enforcement representative to contact us so we can take action on your report. Once we're able to verify someone's status as a sex offender, we'll immediately disable their account. If someone is harassing you, you can learn how to report them. Okay. So personally, I think this is a very good thing. Personally. I think it's long overdue. <clears throat> um, and this is through Instagram. Um, hopefully, the other social media platforms will follow suit, you know, particularly YouTube. I think you should, YouTube should implement something like this as well, as well as all of the other social media platforms. That's where I stand on it. And I've always said that. I think I even did a video about that, saying that, uh, Registered sex offenders should be banned from social media. And I stand by that. I certainly do. So I thought this may be of interest to some people who may not know um, what actually may be coming down the pipeline. And as stated in that news, the previous news video, uh, a lot of times, um, these people have to be reported. You have to be diligent, you know. You have to actually report these people for action to be taken. Um, because a lot of them are online illegally. They are. And a lot of them know that they're online illegally. Uh, in the case of Instagram, they have banned them all together. So it wouldn't surprise me if eventually all of the all of the social media platforms uh, don't eventually end up banning them all together. I, I would not be surprised in the least. 